have Eddie Hearn on every week, and we were uh, entertaining the fight, the, uh, the uh, uh, Katie Taylor fight, moving up to fight Jessica McCaskill. He said, kind of similar to what you said, Jordan, that it's tough for Katie to go up to 147. She she would struggle to make that weight, right? And I asked her, all right, you know, the biggest fight out there that I want to see in female boxing is Amanda Serrano and Katie Taylor. Is there possibility? Is there a possibility that fight can still happen? He says, absolutely, yes, it can still happen. Now I know you guys have 100%. been through a lot with that. <laughs> Is it, I mean, are you open to fight Katie Taylor and do you have a, a, a number in your head where I'm not going to do it for less than this amount? Is that what it is? Okay, I'm the business person. Okay, let, let me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come out real clear. You know what I'm saying? It, it's okay. going to ruffle feathers maybe, you know, to some in my team. But understand one thing. We never, and when I say never, never in capital letters, never spoke to Eddie Hearns about any deal versus uh Katie, Katie Taylor. Taylor. Okay. My promoter, Lou DeBella. Lou DeBella, made deals with him. Now, mind you, those are their deals. When he comes to me, it's a different deal. It's not the uh -oh. same deal that was made by them. You know what I'm saying? So right. we were opposed to that. We Wait a minute. Heather Wait, Hardy. We, we have to get a little understanding. Is it a different deal because Lou is skimming off the top, or or maybe he's taking what he's supposed to take? Well, or what? I, what I are mean, you saying? yeah, I, I wouldn't say scheme and you know skimming or or, or right. stealing, but I'm just saying that you know um he he might feel that it's a good number, but feelings gotcha. are not a fact, but it's a fact that you're gonna feel. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what he feels. He needs to come to the fighter, to Amanda, and say, hey, this is this. So the thing is this, you make a $200,000 deal and your cut is 50, so you come back and you offer me 150. I may not be okay with that, 150,000. Gotcha. You know, you have right. to understand one thing, okay? 150,000 to a person that has no money sounds like a lot of money. But yeah. when you do the breakdown and you go on that 150 and you take out 3% for each sanctioning fee, which is four for the titles that she has, you're yes. talking about, you know, that's three, six, nine, twelve, twelve percent. Twelve percent of hundred and fifty thousand is a pretty penny. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Manchester yeah. has a fee that all fighters have to pay, I don't know, twenty-five. That's what I was told. Twenty-five, thirty thousand. So right. that comes off the top. So when you look at it, it's like uh, less than 100,000. Once you bring that to New York, to the States, you know, you get taxed on that. So right. you're telling me that my fight is gonna fight the biggest fight of her life and take home 50, 60, $70,000? It makes no sense. But see, right. Eddie, DeBella, everybody wants to talk about the fight. Yeah, I wanna talk about the fight, okay? I was offered 150,000 to fight Katie Taylor right before we fought Heather Hardy. What was told to us after we signed the contract, after we promoted the fight, after we went to the garden and did everything. Oh, by the way, if you don't fight Katie Taylor for $150,000, we're going to scratch off the, Kate, the Heather Hardy fight. You know what oh. I'm saying? To me, that's that that's a bullying tactic. That's telling me, like, in other words, oh, we really don't need this. Matchroom said we really don't need this fight. So, in other words, if you don't sign to fight Katie Taylor, I still have the contract. I can send it to you guys. You guys can put it up. Everything that I speak is facts. A hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and it was put in the contract with Heather Hardy. You have to fight. Katie Taylor for $150,000 or the fight with Heather Hardy was going to be eliminated after all the training we did, after all the promoting we did. So you know what we did? We signed the contract. We signed the contract and we sent it. You know why? Because if we didn't, they were going to scratch the Heather Hardy fight after all we did. Now, you guys tell me that's fair boxing. You know what I'm saying? Wow. They're not repeating that. I don't see Eddie repeating that. I don't see Lou DeBella repeating that. You know what I'm saying? No one's saying that. All you hear is the criticism. Oh, someone's scared. Scared of what? Cindy's nowhere near an Amanda Serrano. Was Cindy scared of fight uh, Katie Taylor? We took the purse. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying, this promises to be a 50-50 fight, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it being 
given to us on a 80 20 percentage gotcha. you know what i'm saying wow. it yeah. makes no sense it makes no sense and like i said the last thing i don't know people look but i don't do i look like a look to you i don't think so i eat very well you know what i'm saying <laughs> i'm not starving for money i'm a street guy i i do bids in prison for sh doing the street you know what i'm saying so there's yeah. no way in the world i'm gonna allow my family to take a fight for money you know what i'm saying it works yeah. well for somebody that doesn't have it we don't have that yeah. i hear wow. you I, I i can't get i can't get mad at that um that's real though right i, I appreciate you, yeah 100 you, you guys I appreciate didn't you know being that honest. right but nah, i but i, I have that. that contract i have that contract that states 150 000. if you mm -hmm. don't sign the contract to fight katie taylor at that particular amount of money we are going to take the Heather Hardy fight after all the work we did. And then it went up higher when we were, you know, confronted and told, oh, do you want to take the fight from Madison Square Garden to Manchester? And you know what we said? We said, sure, we'll take the fight in Manchester. They added more money to it. I figured, listen, we're still fighting the same girl, right? We're still yeah. doing it for the same money. I said, right. whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's all written upstairs. The man upstairs has it. So I Amen. said, okay. So the, the fight went up more when it was, uh, when it was moved over to uh to manchester but it wasn't yes. moved a hundred thousand dollars more you know what i'm saying right, what about today jordan up. what it would take what would it take it, uh, um and, and this you know to both of you amanda and jordan like what would it take what number would eddie have would have to offer in lou or whatever for you to say let's make this fight happen okay my, uh, my thing is amanda cannot leave without at least a clean 250 for her you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. my thing is i can't take 250 because we don't come home with 250 you understand what i'm saying yeah. and, and sure. that's what people don't oh yeah but you will and then they say oh we will offer 300 you know uh you know katie taylor's irish and i respect that you know she has a people she has a great following i don't mm -hmm. want a 50 50. she deserves because she comes with a big with her island with her, her country wow, so she wow. deserves i'm like but if it's such a great fight and everybody wants to see it why isn't us at least minimum a 60 40. you know what i'm saying 60 right. for her 40 for us I i'm good with that you know i don't have gotcha. a problem with that Thanks for watching this video please do subscribe all media and we work.